So let's have a look inside the keyer now. We have the Arduino Nano right here, which is uh, very easy to uh, modify and update the firmware. We have these audio coupling transformers, which couple the I and Q signals into the RSHFIQ or other I and Q transceiver like a soft rock. And there's a relay which is used to switch out the normal audio path and switch in the keyer. There's no ground connection here, so you don't have to worry about ground loops. This is an optocoupler that's used to key the RF hardware. Again, no ground connection, so there's no worries about ground loop. There's a pretty generous speaker, so the side cone can more or less fill the room. I'm pretty sure it'll get, uh, get high enough. And this circuitry in here is simply the analog filters needed to clean up the PWM signals created by the Nano and make nice clean sine waves for modulating the transceiver. All the stuff over here is just front panel lights and switches um, which are used uh, by the operator to control the keyer.